Uh, I probably started rabbit hunting when I was 20 years old, 1990. Yeah, it's getting to be a long time ago. Uh, who, uh, uh, how'd you get into it? What made you get into it? Actually, in my family, when you turn 10 years old, you were allowed to pick whatever kind of hunting dog you wanted to train. And at the time, I was into birds and ducks, and I got, I think my first dog was a lab, the second dog was a Brittany Spaniel. And as you know, in West Virginia, hunting ducks or grouse is not a very profitable venture. Yeah. So then I started hunting with some guys that had some rabbit dogs and got a dog off them. Bought a dog, started putting a pack together. It's just been one pack after another since then. And that one dog barks in the shadow, so he's barking all the time. Oh, okay. Summer. We're not listening. We're not listening to him. That one. You can interview that white one there. He, he talks to you more. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you jump that rabbit at? Should we just go Good straight to it? Our right. guards around the road right here. Get How far down? Probably a hundred yards. Back then it was just guys I grew up with and I actually was with three kids. I was kind of getting out of rabbit hunting for a while. My dogs were, they were in the kennel most of the time. And then I met up with these guys from down here, Rob Hopper and his dad, and they grew up rabbit hunting down here and just have always been out hunting this ground, this mountaintop removal sites around here. And, that's probably about five or six years ago and so ever since then I've just been working on the pack trying to add new dogs and get rid of the ones that aren't working and we're down here most weekends now if we're not in Jackson County or maybe up Lewis County hunting farmland. What do you think happened there? Good one. I said what happened there? Uh, he shot us around but usually be this one shot he got it. <laughs> when they more one they Usually miss. I don't know if that's worth a rabbit. Or lot easier to hunt down here though than it is farmland farmland you get a bunch of guys and you get out around people's houses and it seems like there's always some kind of trouble to get into in yeah. that setting you come down here and there's nobody and, and you know nothing can go wrong you have all the all the space in the world yeah well he's right Roy he got it hey he's carrying it up the hill down there I usually you hear one shot, they got a rabbit. They hear three or four, yeah. it's still running. <laughs> That's what I go by. I guess you uh, made a good shot? Certainly. There's Where? no such thing as a bad shot. Where is it? Huh? Yeah, you're right. Put it up. You yeah, it's in that. my coat. I enjoy training dogs and working with dogs. That's just something we always did in my family. Always had some kind of dogs, and, and not just dogs that we had, dogs that we actually worked to develop, worked to train. Huh. I'm not, <laughs> I'll guard this road.
Oh, here it is. Here it is. Smoked that. Yeah, it's a little close. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> no, that was a surprise. Yeah. Uh, who's the older guy that, that hunts in the group? Roy Lee. That's Rob's dad. He's the patriarch of this group. He uh, he tells a lot of stories about growing up here in the coal fields. You know, a long time ago when they when rabbit hunting was for food and they take the kids out when my buddy Rob was a kid and Rob always tells stories about as a kid if you missed a couple rabbits they took your gun and it was your job to get in the brush with the dogs after that and then after a while you'd earn your gun back they just couldn't afford to let rabbits go Kind of thinned out, isn't he? Yes, he is. Nice one, bro. Sticking to the vest for you. Thank you. Yep. Uh, what do you see in the future of you know, rabbit hunting in West Virginia? Do you think, do you think it's growing or, or declining? Or? You know, I think it's been pretty steady for a while with social media. It's easy to see other people who are doing the same thing that a few years ago we didn't know about. And, you know, so there's a connection there that makes it seem like there's quite a bit of rabbit hunters. But it's just, it's so hard, people don't want to let you hunt anymore. Uh, for me, growing up 20 or 30 years ago, you just went and knocked on a farmer's door. You didn't have to know them. And 90% of the, the time, they would say yes to let you hunt. And now, maybe, three out of 10 places you knock on the door, you get permission and, and then a couple years of hunting there and they ask you not to come back. And of course, you know, we've been hunting our whole lives. We try to be as respectful as we can. Uh, like Rob makes salsa, grows a big garden, makes salsa and we'll go around to the folks that let us hunt and take them some things in the summertime. Just, you know, just as appreciation, they, they're giving us something and we're really just running around on their land, so we always try to give something back a little bit. There it is, there it is. Where? Right here, left, 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 right up the middle. <laughs> you said there he is, I looked the wrong way. <laughs> I should have known he was coming on that side. You slowed it down. I said you slowed it way down. Oh, did I? Yeah. Hey, good job, man. <laughs> good job. I'm Danny's brother, Tommy, by the way. Nice to meet you, nice Tommy. To meet you. I'll put him in your vest for you. I got it. I'll put it in front of him. Okay. I'll put it in Danny's. I like the way you work. Yeah, really. Well, it's something I don't know. What am I missing? What's something you, you, you think of or uh, something you just like to say? Well, I think, you know, in rabbit hunting, there's a couple different types of people that are out there with dogs. A lot of people just like to run dogs. They like to hear their dogs. They like to breed dogs. They try to make money off of dogs. And there's also people like us that enjoy the shotgun, enjoy shooting at rabbits, enjoy eating rabbits. So, I mean, we're, we're not dog trialers dog breeders we are rabbit hunters and that's that's what we do every weekend in the winter time as a matter of fact these guys we're with today I almost never see them outside of the winter time so it's kind of a nice every year we there's great anticipation we know that it's coming we're going to get back together and get out in the field together again it's, it's 
kind of a tradition. Yes, exactly. Hunting tradition. 